One of the things you soon notice after becoming an anime fan is that there's a lot of weird brother-sister moments. It's like every time the main character has a sister, she will have these weird romantic feelings towards him. She could be a tsundere, she could be a dear dear, or she could just hide her feelings altogether. Many MA fans who aren't from Japan are going to find this odd and weird. It's just something we learn to accept and get used to. That's just how MA is. Brother-sister romance has mostly been implied or hinted at, but for the most part, MA series don't actually go through with it. The only major series that have actually shown this in an obvious way are Koikaze, My Little Sister Can't Be This Cute, and Yosuga no Sora. There have been MA series that have shown stepbrother stepsister romance, but to most people, that doesn't really count. So, we really don't have to worry about being full on romantic, but that will be changing soon. One of the most popular MA series will be going all the way in terms of brother and sister romance. They aren't just going to hint at it. I'm sure most people know what series I'm trying to hint at. But just why is this kind of thing so popular in anime? Some people may think at first, this sort of thing came from Japan first. But this sort of thing has been around for the longest time. However, those brother-sister scenarios were always just in adult videos, and it was clearly fake acting. So to see this sort of thing not in an adult video or hentai, but in an anime series is shocking to people who aren't from Japan. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of anime series and played hundreds and hundreds of visual novels. I pretty much get what people in Japan really like and the viewpoint towards these forbidden things. Japan is very comfortable with sexual topics and sexual things in general. To us, it seems weird to show this kind of thing in a realistic way on TV. You just feel more comfortable watching it in the hentai. The only series that is an American TV series that really shows something like this is Game of Thrones. And even then, many fans find it odd. For people in Japan though, they don't feel embarrassed liking this sort of thing in anime. They feel comfortable with it. They are into all sorts of odd sexual things they typically expect to see in an adult video being shown out in the open in TV. We feel more reserved about these sexual things in a setting like that. They don't. It's not just brother-sister interactions. There's student-teacher, a dad adopting a girl, and calling her his daughter. And then you know what happens late into the manga series or light novel. There's also a major age difference between characters in romantic situations in many anime series. There are even anime series that show us up front Girls feel a need to go number one. And we're just seeing her do it. I'm pretty sure people get what I'm trying to say there. I can't believe an Echi anime series even showed this. Not only that, in general, anime series shows us fan service every chance it gets. It will show you outrageous Echi scenes, such as the ones in Redo of Healer, that will leave you in shock. It is pretty obvious that Japan is pretty open with sex and weird sexual things people are into. They don't feel shame from it. These are all things you just have to get used to. You have no choice because one most popular anime series is going to have brother sister romance soon. And what are you going to do? Just not watch it? That will be missing out on a great anime series. Should these weird things not be allowed in anime? Of course they should be allowed because it's fiction and we should not set boundaries for fiction because once we do, it will never stop. Because if you say brother-sister romance can't be shown in anime, then there will be another thing that people will say should be gone, and so on. It would get messy. You just have to accept that's just how Japan is, and not let it bother you that much.